All right, for dinner tonight, we're gonna have some salmon and um, I found this box of rice, cauliflower, broccoli, florets, and cheese sauce in my freezer and I'm trying to clear my freezer out. I just have so much stuff in there and I can't really buy any more food. I can't buy any meat, can't buy any ice cream. So I wanna clear my freezer out. So I'm gonna have this with it and a salad and I'll be making the salmon in the oven. And this is probably gonna be the best salmon you've ever had. No joke, it's really good. If you if you're a long time subscriber, you probably saw my videos, my salmon videos on my Eat with Karen channel. I also think I did a little recipe video on this channel as well, but I got a request to do salmon many times on this channel, so we're gonna try making some salmon. I got the salmon at Whole Foods. It was five seventy nine for like zero point five eight pounds. All right, for the salmon dish, what you want to do is you're going to mix uh, one fourth cup of maple syrup. You're also going to mix two tablespoons of soy sauce. Also one fourth teaspoon of garlic salt. And a clove of garlic, or you just could do a little bit. If you have chopped garlic, you could mix it like that. A little bit extra garlic, because I love garlic, so. And stir it. All right, so the next step is putting the salmon on the foil. So what you're really supposed to do is you're supposed to marinate it first for 30 minutes. I forgot to do that. But I'm just gonna add extra of this marinade. fish is really big. I don't usually get some of this big. So I might have to have some for the next day. Something. But then I'm right. Yeah. So right now I'm just putting this marinade all over the salmon as much as possible because and as you can see, there's a, like a lot of garlic right here. One of a lot of garlic. Well, if you like garlic. I think that's good. This is gonna make a mess. Oh my God. Already being messy. So when I put it in the oven, I have foil underneath it. So if it does spill or something like that, the oven won't make a much of a mess. So we're gonna bake it for 400 degrees for 20 minutes. All right, now we're gonna start on this simple steam, steam rice, cauliflower, broccoli cheese. Looks really good. I haven't had this before, so it'll be something new to try. It looks like recommended method. You're supposed to remove it from the carton and microwave for about five minutes. All right, for the salad we're gonna use, it's a sweet kale chopped salad. I did add fresh beets to it. Also includes this nuts, cranberries, so it should be good. All right, I just microwave this. It's like it has some cheese sauce, rice, broccoli. I guess the rice is like a cauliflower rice. I had a little bit. It's actually really good. All right, it looks like it's done. You see all that juice is right there? Yeah, this is good, guys. This is good. All right, here's my dinner. Salmon, broccoli, rice, cheddar, and the salad. It looks good. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I brought a little microphone. I want to try it out to see if it actually helps the sound or not. We have the salmon, we have the broccoli, cheddar, rice, and we have the salad. All right, let's try the salmon right here. That's good. That's really good. And we're drinking water to drink. I haven't made this in a while, but normally you're supposed to, um, after you mix the sauce and you put it on the salmon, you're supposed to like marinate it for 30 minutes in the refrigerator. I forgot to do that. You usually you'll get like a plastic bag. But like I said, I forgot to do that. But if you do this recipe, I would recommend that. It's probably, it will be, taste better. 
but it's still really good. Let's try this rice cheesy bake. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So normally when I do my salmon dinner is usually a baked potato with broccoli, usually and salmon. But decided since I had extra salad, I would use it up. And I wanted to clear my freezer space, so I got this rice broccoli cheddar thing. Don't normally have this as a vegetable side. I just thought I would just use it up since it's in the freezer. Try this out. So I've been filming more outside. I think people have been requesting more outside videos. Plus with the refrigerator going on in my kitchen, it's, I think it's better. I can do before a dark time, which I think I can. And it's about 8 p.m. right now, so it's not dark time yet. <laughs> So this Sunday is my last day at Walmart. I'm super excited. Also hoping I made the right choice. And I just think about, I'm missing my friends at work and what if I'm lonely? I don't know. I don't really have a lot of friends, so it's like, it's nice to like go to like a regular job and your coworkers, you know, they're your friends, you know. So this coworker doesn't think I should quit. She thinks, you know what, you should get, you should just take a leave of absence. That's what I did. I needed to break, and she could be right, but I guess I'm just taking a chance. Yeah, I've just been so burned out lately at both my jobs and just work and YouTube. I just, I just work, work, work. I never have time to relax. I really don't. <laughs> After I eat this, I'm going to put my video on YouTube. I edited it last night. Stayed up until 11.30 p.m. to edit that video. <laughs> but, you know, I enjoy YouTube a lot, so... Hopefully one day I can make money a living like that. That'd be really cool. So, big news on Uber. Uber made an announcement today. I think it was today. They said, you know... State of California, I guess. Uber and Lyft, they... Anybody who works for Uber and Lyft has to be employees only it can't be like independent contractor i think they're still gonna do like you know work your own schedule type of thing so i was really concerned because that was one of the reasons why i'm quitting walmart to try something different so i wanted to try uber eats out and just do food delivery and just so you know all these youtubers are making all this money i wanted to see if i could do it and i might be more happier than working at walmart you know but i found out today that i saw one youtube comment that said it doesn't affect uber eats so that's cool if it doesn't affect uber eats i'm happy if not, I can go back to Uber. I can go back to Postmates, I guess. They just don't fit very well in the Postmates. All right, guys, I had to move. There was a bee outside and it wouldn't leave. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> Not the best setup, but whatever. <laughs> I 
Oh no, there was a bee. There's never a bee outside. Unless it was the maple syrup on the salmon. I think that bees like... I think bees like sweet stuff, right? And the dressing's a little sweet on a salad. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know, but... I sucked. Kind of hard to film outside. Everybody's like looking at me. Like so many people, so many people are like walking down the street. It's just like it's a park or something. It's like really weird. So even at my sister's house, she lives on a really nice street. Um, there's like nobody walking. But I, my street, I don't know what it is. A lot of people are just walking. <laughs> I think you can see the food better than outside, I think. I'm not sure. I have it tilted this way so you won't see my messy pal kitchen on that side. It was like, man. It was so hot today. It's just hardly cleaning. It's so hot, you know? So yeah, this is requested. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. What else should I make for you guys? Let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry about the video. Outside one second, inside another second. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.